hello, greetings, welcome, hi, hello, howdy, hey, how are you? Welcome, hi there, hello, my name is Zine. How you doing? Hi, Gregor Alive. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Um, man, quiet, quiet start, but I'm still happy to have you all here. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I was sitting here thinking, like, I need to play something else. I need to play some Minecraft. I need to put some butts in seats. Uh, I need to do, you know, any, any of those things. And I just, I just want to, I just want to play Forbidden West. I just want to play Forbidden West more. Is that like, it's, it's just one of those games. I just, I just want to keep, uh, uh, playing for Midwest, and, and I, I realize that, that that doesn't work for Lady Sophine, um, so I'm sorry there, but it's just, it's just like, you know, I'm, just, I, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I do this? Do I do that? Do that? And I'm like, but Forbidden West. Um, but how are you all doing? Hello. Greetings. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Fancy seeing you all here. Gunshot or bang. Hmm. Definitely here for Horizon for West. You really enjoyed it so far. I've enjoyed it too. Uh, yeah, let's just do bang or distant bang. Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to answer things. <sighs> I, I, uh, I, I was feeling a little worn out and a little tired and I knew that I was going to be late, but I decided that it'd be better to just kind of take a little rest, start a little bit later. And, uh, then, you know, um, come at you guys, not necessarily perfect, but more, more refreshed and, and more ready to go. So, so uh, that was that was the delay. I apologize. I just I just kind of wanted to rest up a little bit and and bring on my you know from the F game to the C game kind of thing. What's the reason of gaming if you don't get to just have fun and play what you want? It's a fun story to watch and it's great gameplay. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, you know, as this being my job, there's a few more considerations where it's like I need to figure out like what do people want to watch, what are people willing to watch, uh, and, and like you know that sort of thing, but you're very right that in casual gaming or, you know, what I want to do, it's just have fun, right? My biggest complaint is I need to turn up my volume on this like eight um, to, to be able to hear everything. Like I have to, I have to turn up the volume. So far, you will die on the Sims Hill. I mean, have yourself a good time, right? <sighs> you never watched, you've never played Horizon, what's it like? It is a very, very intricate and very well-written science fiction story. And you play along in it. Um, but it is... Uh, it is very... it. It's complex. I mean, I don't know how complex it is. Basically, you know, to... Uh, completely, I, I don't know. It's like, I can't explain it without ruining the game, basically, or just spoiling the whole thing. So it's that question of like, do you want to hear what's going on? Or, or do you, do you just like kind of, it's, it's kind of souls like in its gameplay, but not quite. It's not that mean. Um, let's see. I wanted to see if. I could change the difficulty here. Spoil me, daddy. Um, I am at currently the second to hardest difficulty and I'm thinking I'll move it. Uh, it's not quest-based. I mean, it's pretty quest-based. Um, Monster Hunter, I mean, I, th I think of all those as Souls-likes and maybe that's just me being bad, but to me, they're... Uh, Oh, apparently I'm on the hardest difficulty. Okay. 
I'm already at the hardest difficulty. I was going to turn it up more difficulty, uh, but I'm already at the hardest difficulty. Okay. Um, anyway, I think of them all as Souls-likes, where basically the gameplay is you have to learn how to do the dance with the monster um, and and uh, whatnot. But yeah, it's it's Monster Hunter World gameplay. <sighs> oh my goodness, it's a little, a little hype train out of nowhere. Um, uh, little, a little hype train out of nowhere. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. It's, we, we're on the last days of March and March has been a pretty, pretty uh, sad month. I've been glad, uh, while I apologize for the uh, amount and frequency of the sponsorships, which I think we have a sponsorship tomorrow. Um... They are, with, with months like this month, they are very required for us to keep going, right? Jenna, think of 100 bits. Terrestrial Torvus, think of the 15 months. Gaming Concept, 101 bits. Showing Jenna up just just, just that one bit. Uh, Douch with the 200 bits. Cynthia G with the gifted sub to Santo. Uh, Crystal with starting us off with those 500 bits. And then Witchy Kit, Destiny with the five gifted subs to Rini. Uh, Kazmary, Trubella, M. Beefy Green. And Chrissy Dunkno. So, uh, wishy kid, thank you so much. And if you got to get to the sub, be sure to say thank you to your patron. Um, anyway, Sophie, I, I know you're probably taken off if you haven't if you haven't already taken off, but uh, uh, I, I'm on very hard. So that would explain why I'm getting one tap though. So that's nice to know. Um, your pleasure. Good, good. <sighs> Crystal, thank you for the five gifted subs. Going to Lucifer, 1985. Squish, a.k.a. Toast TTV. Uh, Preves and J-Rose, all from Unipeg. Be sure to say thank you to Unipeg. Uh, and Lisa, thank you for showing me your... For thank you for the 200 biddies. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. So, where were we at? What were we doing? I need to... I know that there's a whole thing where I do, like, this, and then then I hit the rub button, and I drink this, and then I do something magical. And it's like, I'm mean right now. I'm meaner. And it, it, it's this... It, I think it's the Valor skills that I'm picked right now. Like, I don't even know which one I have selected. Looks like th maybe this one? No. Uh... But anyway, one of these is doing something for me. This one has the circle around it where the rest of them don't appear to. But this one also has the, 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 this one has the haloing effect. And this is the only one that has the circle around it. So which one is it? I don't know. But I think, I think the, uh, I think the Valor is there. Desi with the 10 gifted subs to Grimdex, the Queenie, someone wing, 125, RPG cat. Mama Quince, shot down 007, Ditter Dot, Breaking Noses Daily, uh, Whispers 23, and Bewilder Beast 991, all from Desi. Be sure to say thank you to Desi. And Desi, I thank you. Pookie, thank you for the 1100 bits. I appreciate you fighting those. Thank you. Pizza Man, thank you for the follow. All right, so I have uh, shooting your target with an arrow immediately after jump off deals extra damage. So jump off an enemy quickly. Rub and then hold retweet. Okay. LLB. How's it going? Uh, thank you guys for level three hype train. I really do appreciate you all. Uh, and we do have... It, I swear to God, I just... Oh. So, I, at a glance passing over this, I, I... You know, without focusing on the motion, but being pulled by the motion, this looked like Aloy was picking her nose. Um, but she wasn't, so don't worry. With a melee arrow.
Deal more damage when stealth. Okay. I am okay with dealing more damage when stealth. Okay. <sighs> anyway, uh, thank you again. And yeah, I am, like I said, I, I, I did rest up a little bit, but I am still not like, I'm just, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a chill day. So I hope you guys are okay with a little chill. Um, that's right. So we came here and now we want to go there because we now have the ability to open up these areas that we weren't able to get to before. Do, 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 do. I generally try, uh, <clears throat> as a rule, I try to avoid chill days um, because while with those very kind and generous and glorious people who are here uh, and already know they enjoy being here and are just, just you know, in, enjoy the vibes, um, for those people who might be newer, they're just like, wow, this guy's low key, he's low energy, and, and I'm going to go find somebody who's entertaining. And I try and be that as much as possible. Some days, just a little, little worn out, you know? How's the underwater stuff? Fine. It's it's basic dive down, grab something, jump back up. Uh, but I did see something about underwater bobs, so there might be more. Um, all right, so blocked path. I don't see the blocked path. Ah, okay. So that's still a no. I'm usually too hyper. I mean, I wouldn't typically label myself as hyper. I don't, I've definitely seen a lot of streamers who are much more like than me, but I mean, we all have our taste. So I, re I respect, I respect the, uh, this is what I want. The drowning's a little too realistic. <laughs> they made the drowning really effective, and I don't like it at all. Why am I going to this charger site? There's a question mark right in front of me. Oh, there's like a whole little place here. So far, I haven't had much call to like. You want to trade? You'll find me here. Use traders. I. I know that uh, there would be. Like I'm not I'm not taking proper advantage of the foods, which is also another Monster Hunter World thing. Um, that's something I should be better about. But uh, and then figuring out Valor and making that work a little bit better. Oops, that's not the right button I wanted. I wanted to go faster, so I dismounted. Yeah, just one of my friends, and I stream with uh, in in, her, in lobby in her lobbies and stuff a lot. We all just have different styles, though. It's not, you know, 
you find who you're comfortable with and you hang and find your place and, and be with your people. And that's what I, I, I respect that and, and, and want that for everybody. Um, you know, I hope that this place can be a place for people. But if it ain't your vibe, that's, you know, like, I, I, I've been to streams of perfectly good people. And I'm like, mm, not my vibe, you know? So I get it. It's kind of like, uh, you know... If you go to a therapist, a good therapist is going to be totally understanding and, and, and you know, not, not bitchy at all. If you're like, hey, I, I, I'm not feeling connected. I want to, I think I want to explore with some, some other people. And a good therapist would be like, okay, you know, like, good. D d find, find your, find your vibe. Find your people. Okay, do you think this one directly to the north is one that I can work with? I'm not a huge fan. Like, I get it if the story takes you there, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of sending people back into previous areas with unlockables. I mean, I I know it's a tale as old as time, right? So it's it's not like. I, I'm pretty alone on this one, but it's not my favorite. Um, but I really, I don't, I, I like it a little bit less, uh, particularly if it's like, there's no story that sends you back there and you're expected to go and revisit them. Like, and, and uh, you just end up kind of, like having to go back and redo the same thing over and over several times because you're not sure whether it's done done you know whether it's still going or whether it's done done um don't love that especially like on on this you know it's just like trying to figure out have i been there have i not been there so you just end up like a lot of back and forth just to recheck I'm like oh i can't get yeah that's uh if it had an icon that was like now it's open then that's fine. Like, I don't mind, like here right now, it has a icon that says, you know, cannot open blocked path and that's good. But when you get that tool, I would want that icon to change and, and, and have some sort of indication like, uh, you know, this was blocked before, but it ain't now. So that I can then try and figure out, or, you know, make the decision to go back there or not. Um, I just don't like having to travel back and forth and be like, is this my place? Is this my people? I don't think I can get past them. I guess I should leave it for now. See? Like, the, 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 there's at least three different gates that we have to worry about now, and I don't know which ones I can open, which ones I can't. Add one of six. Sounds about right. 30 second ads, three minutes. Yep. Not being subscribed, 57 minutes is pure content and three minutes every hour is ads. Honestly, oh, it feels I, pretty I, reasonable to me. Welcome to my life. Hey, Crazy Blaze, how you doing? Be welcome, Outlander. You hear about that is that Olvan? No, it's not. I was like... You should have seen Alvin stumbling over his own ass. He looked as red as a Karja pre- I see you all made it back. Hammer and tongs. That they did, Huntress. They tell me you blasted through the problem. Lokuf here came back trembling like a twig. Hey! What's important is everyone made it out. No thanks to Olvin. Let's just count our lucky sparks that Petra's taken over the mine supervision. Guess that means no more slacking off. Night Owl, thank you for 38 months. Thank just you guys for that hype train earlier. Okay, so now we should be able to continue to this. Looks like Alvin's gone for good. Never 
thought I'd see the day. Outfit, time he armor. Falling back to whatever damn hole. You know, it's funny. He talks about how he's all the workers, and all the workers only do what he says, and he's in control, and all the workers are behind him. And now that he's gone, everybody's shit talking him. Yes, yeah, tight. Well, look who's back. Making sparks fly out there. How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking, giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big old pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would have become an Osram municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. If it weren't for you meddling Has kids... Has been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed Jacob, down think of the hundred bits. after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him, too. Good riddance, I say. Uh, I haven't encountered that at all, Jacob. I'm sorry. I it's The games ran fine perfectly I for me, honestly. I haven't encountered a problem with the game. Again, Petra. And you, flame hair. Don't be a stranger. Hello, everybody coming over from Dr. Mick. Hello, greetings, welcome, hi, hello, howdy, hey. My name is Zine. I am finally, after after literal years of waiting and pining, I finally can go and and try out uh, Forbidden West and and attack it on my own. For I'm a PC only gamer, and uh, uh, so I just sat there and I I think of how cool all of the mentioned should be close by. I'm How? Want to look through the contract one more time. Aloy, can I talk? The Jesus. Thing. There are the chargers. If I can take a few of them down, it should lure in the scrappers I'm looking for. Anyway, that lady not with his setting. Uh, it, it, it's it's been you know I've I've watched Doctor Bick do his playthroughs and his analysis, and I actually went through after I finished uh, Zero Dawn and watched a lot of what he was doing in uh uh. Watched a lot and, and a lot of his interpretation of it and, and loved his his insights. So, guys, if you uh, don't know Dr. Mick, um, would highly recommend going over and getting to know him. He is a licensed family couple therapist. He does not do therapy on stream, but he's here to, to destigmatize mental health, the, the social structures. And he has a much better spiel than me, but I I think I did okay. Um, but regardless, he's a really cool guy. And uh, he has really cool, interesting playthroughs where he basically talks through the motivations of the characters and that sort of thing. Um which I find to be kind of interesting. I I wonder. I I guess, the, the it raises a question for me of do the writers have do, do do you think the writers have that personality locked in that hard or is it uh that they're kind of that you know that they're just writing the character how they want the character to flow and then Doctor Mick using both his incredible intellect and certain amounts of copium to cover over rough spots in the, the writing, uh, you know, pulls it all together. You know, like, I, I, uh, I, I, I don't, there's probably even points, but I, I feel like at some point a character's going to do something that you're like, that didn't make any sense at all for what they were supposed to be doing. Like, what the, I don't, I don't know why they made that decision. That just, and, and it's just, it's just the way the story had to be told or something like that. Um, and so, you know, is it just, you call it out? Do you try and like, here's maybe why they did that and bullshit ensues. Um, 
You actually had that happen in a game you're playing today? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry as fuck. Um, this one, I, I have avoided all spoilers. I know nothing about it. Uh, and I just encountered a new group of people that I was not expecting to encounter uh, last playthrough uh, or yesterday. So it took a whole other turn the, than I was expecting. I mean, and I don't know what to expect, but added, added a new element. So um, I know the general consensus is this isn't quite as good as Zero Dawn, but I find that often people who are all like the sequel wasn't as good. I don't know what they're looking for, but the sequel is different. And it, because it wasn't more of the same, they didn't like it as much. Not that it dis isn't necessarily as good. Not 100%, but, you know, there's certain things that... And one what's, what immediately jumps to mind for me there, and I don't think it necessarily applies here, but um, the Subnautica and Subnautica 2. Subnautica 2 it was not nearly as well received as Subnautica. Uh, and Subnautica 2 definitely had some problems with it and, and was not as tight. Like, its story was was not as tight and, and connecting and stuff. But a huge part of why everybody was so taken with Subnautica and what made Subnautica, like, so impactful to people was that initial experience, the confusion, the isolation of being thrown in, an, in a vast ocean and having to survive with nothing but ocean sounds and no talk, no no conversation, nothing, just... You and roars in the water and praying, right? And and that was a visceral response, and it was a it was a new it was a new experience, um, and uh, uh, like the, when you first encounter your first reaper and that sort of thing, like all those things are are so original to you that they all go back to build your impression and your 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 love of that game. But when you go back to the sequel, you you know that. Like you can't get you can't get that feeling back. I wish you could. I like I wish that I could feel the way that I felt the first time I walked in World of Warcraft through Darnassus and was like, holy shit, this place is huge. Like I had no idea. I'd been playing in the little starter village and and was like, okay, this is a regular and then I walk in and this city that's just vast and amazing to me, I will always remember that moment. But I don't I can't make another of those moments. I can't forget it and stuff. And so sequels in a lot of times are judged a little overly harshly because we're, tr we're, we're wanting that sequel to give us that same nostalgic sense of wonder. And, but we've already been spoiled to the wonder, so to speak. So anyway, I, I, I don't expect this to be something that I'm like really, really disappointed in or anything like, like I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, thank you for coming over, uh, everybody. Uh, and I hope you are all having a great day and we shall continue. Oh, one last, one last thing. Um, with, with all due respect to Ryan, and I totally get that he's there telling the story and doing the interpretation and stuff. Um, it was wild watching him play because he played on story mode or whatever, and I play on the hardest difficulty. And I was just like, oh, oh, buddy. Like, you are getting the shit beat out of you. And he's like, that's fine. It just, you know, he comes out. And I'm like, whew, that was, that, was a, that was a fight. Not much of one, but a little bit of a fight. <laughs> Uh, I play on, I play on, uh, we actually just, I, I just tried to turn the difficulty up and realized that I did have it on the hardest difficulty already. So, um, there's that. I did not watch the red mob fight. I, I, I can only imagine. Buddy. Scrappers. Right on schedule. I hate scrappers. Until I had override machines. My biggest complaint with the sequel so far is the scrappers and they they have a electrical AOE bite that it is it doesn't look like it should be an AOE and and it bothers me every time it gets me. I'm like that shouldn't be that stop right.
How's the game? I've been enjoying it. This fight has been a little unchallenging given that I've, you know, just killed everything without getting detected, but um That's one. That should do it. Time to take these parts back to Larand. Mary, thank you uh, or congratulations on the 45 months. Uh, get to the sub from Crystal, Union Peg, thank you so much. Soft Lemur, thank you for the 54 months. Ow, fuck my leg. It's good to see you. Four and a half years. Is that 54? I, I thought 54 was about seven years. Um, But, okay, so that's why I went there. And then I don't know. Gosh, you know, like I, like I was saying earlier, I just wish that there was a way for me to know what got opened up and what didn't when I uh, uh, when I got the igniter so that I can I can get past those gated spots. I, I, I wish that that was a little bit clearer to me. Soft Lemur, thank you again so much. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Hi, Nancy. You get the stitch in your leg out? I bet that'll be nice to get removed. Not have that in there anymore. I frequently end up pulling stitches out myself because, uh, you know, like they, the, the, the removal appointment is far enough out and by, by the point, you know, three or four days before that comes around, I'm like, yeah, like it's itchy, it's bothering me. It's, it's, and so I just end up Chopping it out myself. All right, so this is where that dough head sat there and... Was this was this where they sat there and watched me fight and they were just sitting there calling and, and yelling? Might have been. It either was or wasn't. That's what, uh, I can narrow it down to that. Do 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 Oh, it's lower. It's below me. Where? I mean, I guess... Given the fact that there's waves, I should probably look into the water, you know? If only there was some water for me to look at. I mean, I don't think anybody's ever like, Ooh, stitches, yay! You know? Wait, I can glide. I forget that I can glide. Every time. Um, let me go run to the bathroom and we will be right back.
sorry, 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 sorry. We have the unknown ahead of us. What is the unknown? Where is the unknown? Who is the unknown? Um. Okay, so th it's this way. This way, no, that way. I've got the brain. No oh. Squeeze through my crack. Come on. Into the unknown. So, not seeing a lot of, you know, air. Which is feeling like it might be a bit of a problem. It could just be me. Okay, good. <laughs> What's up, Cabbage Merchant Chloe? Yay, Rue, second of the 65 months. It's still unknown, though. What do we have here? It is unknown. Damn it! All right, so basically it looks like anything with the water icon, I just need to ignore until we get whatever this equipment is that we need. I gotta figure out where the exit is here. You, you, you cut yourself, Cynthia? Are you gonna be okay? Do I need to, do I need to call Dar Squeaky to come check on you? Okay. So, I don't remember what the hell this fire gleam was. I'm very curious what that is. Okay, so that was vines. That requires swimming. I'm wondering if this was previously a blocked path and now it shows that is available because I don't remember what the hell Fire Glee was. Oh, this was 10 years ago and you're still complaining about it? Oh my goodness. Haven't had any recent hospital trips? Well, that's, you know, a pretty low bar, but nonetheless, at least you're meeting that bar. In general, we try and keep our fingers attached. Let's keep that in mind. Hey. Uh, here we go. Oh my God, trying to... I think I need to turn off the uh, Mount Follows Roads because I think that's what sends me in weird, wacky directions. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Also, getting this guy to cross a bridge is fucking voodoo. All right, that works for me, you weirdo. We need to hang a left at Albuquerque. Aha! 
Yeah, so basically it looks like the, uh, the how this is working is the ones that uh, are now open become an icon for whatever. And I'm like, what the hell is that? I did, yeah, Fire Gleam, Fire Gleam, etc. So, okay. Well, that's good to know. Let's do a retweet. Oh, fire gleam is what the, the stuff was. Oh, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's not terrible. Uh, when I was talking about how they label it, fire gleam is the name of those crystals. So that's saying, hey, there's some fire gleam here. Granted, nothing about that was made it, it all worthwhile to come back to and pick that up. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. Um, but let's see. Quest by uh, waypoint by uh, quest marker. Uh, uh, standby screen. Camera position. Camera uh, climbing. Attention. Uh, uh, I'll show Gauntlet Rosa. Mount Follows Road. Stop it. I hope you're punching the big C uh, in the dick, Hattie. Where do we want to go now? What else do we got? What are we working with here? Uh, oh, we needed to get... Let's let's go to this. Eh, we can just path. It'll be fine. Fire! Stay low. I want either a chai tea latte or a ZX right now. Por que no los dos? Super chip, taking the 22 months. You can get a strong color out of this. Leap! Ignore the scrappers. They mean nothing to me. Oh my god, the camera on this thing though. Ugh. Camera, please. Please, I beg you. What is with it, man? What is with the fucking mount and the bridges? It will not go over a bridge. Fire! <laughs> Dylan's stuff is great. It really is. Just in case. Scroungers, just like Lauren said. I need their antennas. If I shoot them off without getting spotted, everything should go smoothly. Could use frost ammo against it. I've clipped an antenna. Got one. Ow. They seem to be attacking. They're like my antenna. Whee! You missed. Couldn't get those antennas fast enough. They've called for reinforcements. Bullshit attack is bullshit. Oh, that helps. I need to aim for those antennas. The AOE electrical is the stupidest thing in the game so far.
I have no ammo. That's gonna make shooting arrows difficult. What? Why can't I aim? Why am I bad at game? Wasn't there another one? Oh, he got distracted. He's like, we're fighting, but also loot. And honestly, that's a mood. Like, I, I feel that. I get it, bro. That's all of them. Now to pick up some antennas. Like the loot pool is real, and I get that. One antenna here. How do you think to get this up to pick it? I still don't have enough antennas. Maybe I can find more scroungers in the area. I probably should have looked at how many I needed. You've got yourself a Mexican, and now you're happy. Good. I'm sure, he or she is lovely. I knew here, I'm Zine. What's up, local idiot? Speaking of, I'm a local idiot. Hello, everybody. Hi, TK. Need to set this so I can see you guys properly. We all have a little loot goblin blood in us. It's true. Okay. Hi, Trisha. I hope you're still. Uh, I hope you're mending. I hope you're feeling better. Are those scrappers? Those don't look like scrappers. Move it, pig. I don't remember going in Straggler's Shade. Remember, kids, you can jump from any height as long as you roll. Time to get those antennas for Larand. Looks like a landsworn. My scarier antlers. Another pack of scroungers. Time to shoot off those antennas for Laren's armor. Time to go! Time to go! Bullshit attack! Somehow it's like they took scrappers and made them slightly more obnoxious. Which was amazing because scrappers were pretty obnoxious before. And I just came in and made that guy have a bad day. Stop it. I hit it. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I hate that attack. 
It's just like, take damage because you were in the vicinity of a, something that's running at you. Joke's on you, I heal by sneak attacks. But preferably varies. What's up, base? Level four healing spell. Yay! I mean, let's not dwell on it, how nerdy that is. And let's appreciate it for the kindness that it's meant to be. Sir, if you could hold still while I shoot that. Thank you. I see you're trying your little crappy attack on me. Did I try out the new weapons in Helldivers? I haven't been in Helldivers for a couple days. Um, so I don't think so. That's done. Now I need to find any antennas I clipped. Are they pretty good? Tell me they're pretty good without telling me that. I mean, you can tell me. Wait. He was going to attack me. Ah, he's still trying to attack me. Ah, he's successfully attacking me. We were just having a friendly time shooting all your antlers off. Then all of a sudden you took it and made it weird. I need to find any antennas I hit. I've not tried them yet, but they are called the Heavy Machine Gun, a really chunky machine gun, and Krazar Cannon. I don't know anything about it, but it spins up a giant laser and looks awesome. I mean, sounds pretty awesome. Let's be honest. Like, that's, that's, that sounds grooves. I'm here for it. I'd assume you're here for it. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's good to know. That I can like pull from my stash into my inventory. That that's that's good information right there. I tell you, that's gonna be useful uh, when the Fire Nation attacks. Speaking of the Fire Nation attacks, I am finally watching Avatar. However, I am watching the live version, and you can't stop me. Um, and it's been good. I've been enjoying it. I've never seen the 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 um, the anime before the manga uh so this is my first experience with it but i am recognizing about eight million references so it's nice to you know put show to reference ah what where did the fire come from Damn it. Move your head when I'm shooting at you. Ah, fire! All right. Picked on you enough. <laughs> secret tunnel, secret tunnel. It's right. Uh, yeah, I know the OGs were like all angie and stuff, but it's just without having that drama on me, I've been able to just enjoy it and and you know just watch and and, and take it for what it is, and uh, that's been nice.
basically at this point what it has done is it has allowed me to understand where all of uh widgie's uh notifications come from Where are you going? Let me love you. It feels kind of cruel to do this while they're, you know, <laughs> still, uh, still kicking. Like here, let me just use my arrows to peel parts off your body. Yeah, I've heard pretty much universal hate for the movie, but I think the, uh, I, I think in general, the, the show has been fine to watch so far, but I'm not going to necessarily know what was supposed to not be fine either. Right? Like that's kind of, that that's one part of it is it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be angry about. I'm just enjoying what's in front of me. My cabbages. Okay, so a little bit of fire gleam right there. Just disappointed. Well, I'm used to disappointing my parents, so I get that. Have squeaks. parts you wanted. I see your reputation as a hunter is well earned. Here's your payment. Looks like you've got everything you need to make your armor now. Actually, our scouts spotted a banghorn nearby. It spews fire like a blazing forge. If I had it, my armor could resist an inferno. What do you think? I'll check the details later. See if I can track it down. You won't regret it. Do you think I'm like this guy actually has an armor that's worth all this by the time we're done? These are the last parts we'll need, Huntress. Last parts we'll need. That's what I'm told. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Take a quick look at Laren's contract. Read all the details. She keeps saying that, and yet I never do. I just show up and shoot shit. I see machine tracks. Might be the Fanghorn I'm looking for. Hmm, yes, these look like tracks. Look, look, Ma, dirt! There's a lot of different machine tracks here. I'm gonna need my focus to tell them apart. Oh, time to fight. Respect tracks. Not what I'm looking for. Huh. Huh. Oh. 
You want me next? Yes, you do. That other one had the right idea. He saw what I did to Carl and fucked right off. Maybe you should have done that, Ted. No luck. These tracks were made by a charger. Found the Fanghorn tracks. The trail looks fresh, too. My focus should help me follow it. You say that, you and yet, there it is. Let's see where you lead. I'll find that Fanghorn later. A Fanghorn that breathes fire. I think I found Laren's new friend. I'm gonna have to take it down. And it's gone. Let's try that again. Can just stay still for me, huh? I'll catch you eventually! We've talked about it before, but that's actually a real thing. Humans have a dramatically larger capacity for, uh, uh, where did it go? For endurance hunting than most animals. Uh, our, our ability to sweat as freely as we do gives us a tremendous advantage. Uh, should hit it with frost ammo over uh, most animals in regulating our body temperature. So there's actually a, a method that's just endurance hunting where you basically just keep pushing the animal until it runs itself tired and then you just take it. Lance horns. Bruh. Got my way. Okay, those are all just lance horns. Where's Fireboy? There he is. He's a runner. Sorry, just kept it. Oh, God. Knocked down already. Thank you. Just keep changing them until they need an oil change. Gather wild beans. Huh. 
He stopped! It's a hard shot, to be honest. Not to say I was, you know, wasn't just shooting terribly. That is a hard shot. These guys are squirrely. Ha! Gotcha! Whew. Now I need to get those parts for Laren. That should be enough salvage for Laren's armor. Just have to take it back to his camp. All right, Laren, this better have been worth my time. Otherwise, it will have not been worth my time. Down, boy. Stop, or I'll say stop again. Don't look at me with a red light. Just because I've killed, you know, half your herd, doesn't mean I'm a threat to you. <coughs> Stay out of my way, we'll be fine. Hi, Lacey. You're sad today? I'm sorry you're having a sad day. Here's that fanghorn you wanted. Most of it, anyway. Yes! This is it! This will make my armor truly stand out. Unless... Pie of Conquer, I think the 28 months. Maybe I can add... Uh... It's about time you got started, isn't it? You're right. Can't make the perfect armor if I never light the forge. Thank you, Aloy. Maybe you'll come back around when Karuf does. See me win that prize? I can try. Hey, I wanted to get the armor. You here to trade? There's always next time. He didn't even. He didn't even give me an art. Like I didn't. Be, okay. Okay. All right. This asshole right here. Okay. So. Let's get these guys. You have unlocked weapon technique. Weapon techniques are unique, powerful attacks. Offer exceptional new strategies in combat. Unlock techniques are available for all weapons. Tap or hold rub while aiming to use your selected technique. Using a weapon technique depletes your weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Switch between available weapon techniques uh, by opening the weapon wheel, laba, and tapping wubba, wubba, or wubba. Okay. All right, and then there was fire gleam that kept us from getting into this ruin. We know that, so we can go check that out. I'm sorry, your cat got you. ruin. 
wonder what's inside. What's inside? Walk this Let's way. See what we can find around here. This will break my fall. Aha! Sacre bleu! Invaders! There we go. Aha. An energy cell. Oh, but it looks like it's out of power. Great! I will carry this with me forever and ever. This isn't the right way. So... Aha. I feel like I need to get on the other side of that and break it! Probably using for gleam. Possibly. On the other hand, how do I get through and break it? really took us where we needed to go. <laughs> took us. Okay, so there's that. Do I try and bring it up here? This is a break point. I just don't know how to break it. But I feel like that's blocking me. I don't know if there's still things that I need to do that I can't get through. This is a pretty small ruin considering how thoroughly confused I am with it all. I can't jump. So I can't put it there. I don't suppose I put it here and blow it up. That seems a little excessive. This room very much feels like I'm missing something that is probably fairly obvious, but like an entrance point of some sort that I have not determined. Maybe up to there? Can I not just run around and jump up there? Maybe the crate up to that bar? This crate might be useful. So that's how you fall back off. Okay, verified. Aha, more for, for gleam. This seems like our entrance point that I've been missing. You know, there's not many uh, problems that Aloy hasn't met that she can't solve by sticking her spear in it. She's very masculine that way. So 
Some kind of lock for the door. Looks like it needs power. Okay, let's get this crate out of there. I assume the crate goes down. Maybe. Okay, so this is how you charge stuff. There's some kind of device here. So now I just need to break through that one side. I assume I probably can do with a, a fire gleam uh, from this point, but I don't know. Looks like this thing needs power. This could be useful. Aha. I knew what I was looking at. I just couldn't get to it. I can slot this energy cell into that device. Juice me, daddy. Wow. There we go. Charge the energy cell. That's a uh, that's some some fast charging power right there. I'll shake it out as I go. Huh. Water discharge the energy in the cell. I got to power it up again. I see. Place cell on top. Pull across way. ACSR Yoshi, thank you the 100 bids. Hello, Zena Chat, back from the doctors after removing your wisdom teeth. Well, that's no fun, but I hope you're doing okay. Water bad. Well, wait a minute here. Oh, I see. I was like, <laughs> I can't, I can't get this up there, but now I understand. I see, said the blind man as he walked into the wall. That should help. Stay, stay. Stay. Easy. Stay. I'm inserting. We're inserted. The lock on the door above should have power now. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so not that way. Looks like this door is locked. Okay, no so not that way. Go ahead and type in the code I don't know here. Loss is estimated at 93%. Dear God. Two, two, oh, four. Guys. 
Ta da! Okay, got the relic. Better keep it safe. Maybe I'll. Don't know what to do with these, do but later. nonetheless, we have now completed that little shenanigan. Good night, Spikey. All right, so we are supposed to be doing what? Going to Plain Song. Plainly, there's a song we need to go to. So we head left and then turn right just past Albuquerque. Thank you. Right. Plain song. The blight's taking over. You know, that's not a good thing. For the Utaru fields. I have to get Guy up and running. They're solving the problem with thoughts and prayers. More of the Utaru's land gods. Sowing the fields with blight. It's like they're still following their programming. Even though it's killing everything. What is causing the blight? We don't know. Although, we assume it's the breakdown of Gaia. So, the whole point is, you know, Gaia had to turn herself off, and now all the systems that were incomplete are starting to break down. These fields are covered in just... poisonous plants. There's Varl and Zo. I'm here, as promised. But singing, does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. 
I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... The fuss was already there. Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. <laughs> but each tribe has to... She's not a fan of tradition or religion. <laughs> if you say so. It's been pretty... Uh, majorly negative on her... Uh, so life. put fortifications around the cave. Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. And even if not, I just Let's go see. without the permission. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above. Pretty much, Zekro. Don't you understand? All we need to do is find harmony and believe in the uh, the the other things, and all will be fixed. It's the important in the face of adversity and and uh, a new world and dynamic and changing dynamics that we hark back to our traditions and uh, you know make sure that we use those to ground ourselves without progress or expansion of a of idea or thought. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsville? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see. Side quest, baby, side quest. Outlanders can be so rude. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I realize I just ran through pushing you all out of the way. Who's yelling for me? Send this to my stash. My mus stash. All right, which one of y'all is calling for me? Please, the chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. Glad you're here, real King Kong. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Yeah, sorry about that. Would it be too much to hope? 
that you'd soft leaver think of the gifted sub real fight. king kong sure of course if i find myself up north i'll check in on your people i ask nothing more when you reach the village look for q he's heading up our defenses may the loss become the seeds yeah. of the next generation Ooh, i hate yawning Dane, I don't know where you are. Damn it, Dane. Who else needs a meal? Yesterday, I hope. Not in the mood. Aloy, I wanted to thank you again for saving my life out there. I know we don't have much, but I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wilds. Okay. It would, I hope it, you know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for you here, Aloy. Hey Thank you, Dane. I hit the target. I see. Twenty percent maximum health for three minutes. Restores twenty five percent health. Twenty five Santa boost resonator build up. Boost potion efficiency. Boost stealth tear. Guess you'll try my cooking some other time. You I'll try your cooking some other time. But this does mean that we can probably wrap Aloy in some sort of plant wrap. Nervous? Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. We are, we are the youth of a nation. ¿Qué pasó? Speak. Speak. Hello, everybody. Oh, wait. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. This game really doesn't like politicians. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions, should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. Crystal Genesis, you a thank you for the raid. Your ways because your own lands are killing she you. makes a good point there. She has a point. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a good point. Uh, hi, Crystal. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander 
can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. What's happening? Was that from the cordon? It's an alarm! Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. I like the way she thinks. Then off we go. It's an alarm! I too noticed that one guy's random squeal. I damn near did the uh, Marvel landing. At least she's running. Fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't I've seen these machines before. Hunter killers. They must have come from the cordon. The others will defend planes. We have to move. You guys are doing great. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right. Then, yeah. Hey, it's this guy. Yes, sir. Directly in the buttock, sir. Wait, he's still alive. Didn't like that. Apex. Okay, Zo, let's go. Zo. Zo. That fire will hurt it. Zo, you're you're supposed to thank you. If you would come along. I'm waiting on you! Why are you waiting on me? These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing land god in that cave. Machines are everywhere. Here, this is how you do it, bud. That guy died. Ooh, loot. Hey, this giant toast in front of me. Okay, thank you. Lay about. Ooh, a ravager. Haven't seen you for a while. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. It looks very pretty, except for the death and destruction pouring out of it, you know? More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Yeah, that's the idea. Spot it. Get up! I've got this one. Push the machines back. They can't take oh. us. Hey, it turns out I have the wrong bow, and I'm like, this is taking me forever. Here, take this ammunition. Take this ammo. Okay, oh. when I dodge, I would like you to dodge. This is this is my request to you. You've made yourself Wait, a target. What is this? Let's do this thing. Okay, now now I'm ready to Ow! Get my ass kicked apparently. Fire! Finisher. And like fighting in the air. Finisher. Finish 
Are you really struggling on a scrapper, bro? Ow! I'm struggling on a scrapper. Stop that! Yikes! Okay. Uh, we need to have that ready, and then we need to pay attention to this guy, because he do be angry. Fucking move! When I'm trying to move, you stupid son of a bitch! Okay. Fuck, these cliffs are annoying right here. Like, why have me fight on a ledge? It just makes all the geometry for everybody more obnoxious. Varl, watch out. There's a guy right here. I got it. Don't worry. That one decided he was having a bad day and ran a little bit. Gotta go! That's all the machines, sir? You have a weird definition of all the machines. Do you need ammo? Uh, not today. Not today. Now we're in the thick of it. You're going down. No. Stay with me, Aloy. There. Show me that That's weak spot. One. Now onto the cordon. Let's go. Right behind you. But but guys, the loot loot. Yeah, he like he's he's a talker. Hi, Master Parkour. How you doing? Way, he's definitely a talker during the fight. Like. A little bit less wouldn't have gone astray, you know what I mean? That'll be slow going if I use acid on it. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Good. All that for nothing. What are you spinning into? Oh, okay, there's a guy right there. I'm like a big, powerful 15 damage hit. Do, 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 do. Glad it's the weekend for you. I'm glad it's the weekend for you too. The cordon. Or what's left of it. So many dead. They will be mourned when the time is right. For yeah, now, yeah, yeah. We'll worry about them later. We must keep going. Into the cave.
Loot, glorious loot. Well, then it shouldn't have given me that much loot. If it wanted me to keep going, it shouldn't have given me stuff to do. Tap Riz to pulse your focus and highlight nearby climbing handholds. Okay. May the land gods forgive our trespass. May all our sheep be full of wool. What is that? A kind of wall made of light. We'll Up follow here. your lead, Aloy. Listen, you don't know what we're doing with, but I do, okay? Hmm. This will make a good die. But I don't want to die. Get it? Ahead. Like a cauldron door. A cauldron. Retweet. To understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. On the temple just like this gain the second sight there's blue light on the door yeah it takes some getting used to don't worry Zoe. i hope now listen the machines we've been fighting they're different more dangerous that means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door and it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. A call drone! We have to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines in here. We'll have to take them out. Right behind you, Aloy. Varro, you're blocking my shot. Varro, get the fuck out of my way, Varro! Let's take down this machine! Let me move! I will strike you down. Huh? My turn. No. Hiya! Got him. 
So this is a cauldron, where machines are born. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here? Minerva? <sighs> Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Uh, hooked on a feeling. Wah, 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 wah. And I'm high on believing that you're in love with me. Okay, that's where he came in. This is where we fought. This is where he came up. This is where Varro got in the way of every single shot I tried to ever take, ever. So we just come up here and we open this door. Why do men have to fucking suck so much? I mean, hopefully not all men. Would I recommend this game for the price? Absolutely. That said, I'm not sure what his price is. Is it fifty dollars? Glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said. It wants us dead. It takes over places. All men except for me. Fair enough. Killer machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is broken. It's like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are those panels on the floor? Huh. Standing on this floor panel... ...activated something. It looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears... ...I can lock them into place. Make a path up. Which part's the gear? be in the right spot to lock into place. I see. How are you doing, Zoe? This place was meant for the land gods. I... No Utaru has ever set foot in here. But I had to, I... right? So to help Can you stand anyone. on that panel? To find Fa. You did the right thing, Zo. Like this? Good. Stay there. Wait for the light to turn on. That did something. There. Should be able to climb all the way up now. What's that thing beyond the wall? Another floor panel. Massive, whatever it is. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down? She said, explaining what you're supposed to do at every step of the way. Can't fit the crate through that opening. I think I can get the crate through that shield, but I'll have to go around. Did you find a way across, Aloy? I'm working on it. You know the part where I haven't come and talked to you? That's because I'm still working on it. More pillars. Might be a way across if I can get them into the right position. That did it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. There. Should be able to get across now. She's 
She's so high up. Don't fall, Aloy. <laughs> Wasn't particularly planning on it. How's it going up there, Aloy? Shut up! I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. Oops. I'm just bad at things. We just built different, and the different isn't good. One down, two to go. Good aim. Okay, now I can cross. I mean, there's something to be said for not being clingy, but it's also there's also something to be said for recognizing that the problem might very well be on his part and not thing that you did wrong. And so trying to find reason in your behavior doesn't necessarily help you because the problem was his wants and his behaviors. Potentially. I mean, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Festus's cables are all over that node. But maybe I can override it. Damn it, Hephaestus! The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. As is tradition, I will solve the problem while no one else does anything. Get up to the node. Do, do, do. All right, let's see what we can do. You made it. I did. Making it's kind of what I do. It made a bridge. Come on over, you two. Like there's Get another node on the, on the other side Fine. near that door. Go do your thing. How to get to that node on the other side? Begin there's still no sign of fog. It's a big place. We'll keep looking. That's not what I wanted. I didn't expect her to just walk off. We just wanted to test the waters out there. Turns out it's warm. Transfer prime armament to unit G mark 
one. Who is that? Looks like there's another node on the other side. Near that door. Go to your yeah. matrix. Fine. I appreciate that finally he's just like, you know what? Go do your Aloy thing. Like, that's what you do. Okay, now I'm here. Now what? Engage active distribution J1 Zeta. So I grab onto those, but not yet because they go to the shield. Unless there's no shield right there. Oh, maybe there's no shield right there. But also, I have grabbing points right over here. Okay, so that's just loot skadooks. I think I can hitch a ride on one of those metal carriers. Varl, above us. She's in the air. Don't let go, Aloy. Oh my god. Wasn't planning on it. <laughs> you don't say. It's over. Okay. Me every day. Hiding in. There's the note. Imagine if one of these ultra smart AIs was smart enough to just build one of those shields that I can't get around, uh, around these, like just encircle it. Be like, what are you now? No one's out of your league. Who is Hephaestus? What does it want with this place? It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. They used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. It's equipping fa, uh, fa or ra or za or cha with for war. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. We must kill the god that's really just a machine. Thorough. Time for a boss fight. I think probably our first major one. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Intrusion detected. Deploying mark one. Here we go. I'm sorry, Fa. And I'll get the big guy. Fire! Fire! Fire hurts. Fire's bad. We can take this one. Here's ammo. I'll take this one. Machine's got 
heavy weapons on its back. If I can detach them, I can use them against it. Fireman! I can keep going. Nice shot, me. Said no one ever. I whittle, we will whittle you down. I can pick up can that you use the weapon properly. Do I have to go save her? You're in the way. Take this ammo. I can switch it up. I'm ready. God damn it. God oh, damn it, I tell you what. He said, yelling at me to do exactly what I was doing already. Fire's hot. I'm out. Fire's still hot. Should be another gun over here. What we have here is a range situation.
guess what we get to do all over. We have to get down there. Wait a minute. I forgot my friend. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Say hello to my mid little friend, the spear thrower. Time to go! That thing, that wasn't quite what I wanted. Let the hunt begin. The machine's got heavy weapons on its back. If I can detach them, I can use them against it. Not explode. Can't see anything. Can you hit that again? That was a nice shot, said no one. Wow. Okay. We're going downtown, hibba jibba dibba. It's done. Spears. High tech shit. Yeah, so I kind of had to blow up one of your gods, but you might have noticed he was corrupted into an evil a a murderer's thing. Killed us. It's still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? Uh, I don't have a playlist, but you can find them in the, uh, the live streams. They're all labeled. Hang on. I need to loot. I need to loot. Stop. Stop moving. You're going to do something. Everything's going to leave. We're going to end up leaving. Whew. 
Anybody have a cigarette? Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. But they look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? Let's find out. Downtown hibba jibba dibba. A shibba da hibba jibba. Shibba da hibba hibba a jibba. They might come in handy. Sounds like a plan. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. Some of the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Great. That's my name. Thank you. Five Great. months. Great. I appreciate it. 85 months, guys. The double up tier two. Thank you so much. That's my name. Very, very appreciated. Pine, good to see you. Thank you for the raid. Sorry, I was a little focused. A little laser focused in there. We also had Crystal Genesis with the raider a little bit earlier. So thank you, guys. Um, so. Pine, welcome to the regional. Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I don't think so. At least, not directly. It was the menorah. We have eight days. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Um, I hate yawning. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There's a big high-tech room full of fuck all. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. All right, I'm down here now. Good. That's where I dropped in. Where are you going? The opposite direction the camera's looking, you weirdo? Are you doing okay, Zo? Listen, she's so? she's having a bit of All a this. Minerva, Hephaestus, Gaia. This is what will help heal plain song. It's hard to explain. I mean, okay. I barely understand it. I need to it, find where Minerva's hiding. Yeah, it's what Aloy's look been for looking a way for to this access whole the facility time. Systems. He says this whole time like that means anything to this woman we just met like two days ago, versus, you know. Looked. Uh, without context that maybe, maybe they had a conversation off screen. Alert. Restricted access. You are not wanted here. 
Oh, Minerva. Nope. Sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. She's a getting on my Minerva. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Let's see where this leads. Well, of course you carry. It's Texas. Everyone does. It's what you guys do. A draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Yeah, sorry. I'm not one of the fold as of yet. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight. Where the hell am I going? And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Where am I crawling to exactly? Okay, that was not my first guess. Cold on the hands. Cold on the hands. Cold snow. Cold snow. Okay. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But how to reach them? How indeed? Hello? Aha. Another shaft. Okay. Now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Alert. System core penetrating. We're in their dome, Ain. <laughs> Console, please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything?
You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> okay. Talk me into it. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here it goes. Nearly every other country in the world makes mincemeat of that argument, TK, but it's never been about logic anyway. Gaia. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Uh, 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 scanning data. So it is Aloy. Not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's something's got to go wrong here. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um. Okay, but don't overwhelm them. Okay, they don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so... This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. My foci! Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny... I did not read boots? ...terraforming operations in the area. Hang on, Gaia, do you know who those people were that attacked What's me? All this? this was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm this would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. 
Better in a cubicle. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. I see. Got it. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Looks like some kind of storage room. Do 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 Door won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. Look, man, sometimes I just pry my way through the vents, okay? There's a nice way and there's a expeditious way, and I so usually am in, in prod team expeditious. So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Craft the override. I need plow horde. Hordes. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Yes. Aloy, you have now visited all accessible rooms of the facility. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why okay. didn't they? Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who- It's all was? Aloy's all the way down. The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. It's the Orion ship that they said the didn't make it? The are complicated. 
but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. I I I kind of wondered about this, which I read. I think that the uh, the Odyssey ship made What's it away somehow, or so or something happened there. And why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius. But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless. Uh, I don't. Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Eleuthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent Damn it. solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Why is she gold? Because she's basically the god. <laughs> the three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. 
Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data uh, was on me. the 2nd of February, 2066. By order of Ted Pharaoh. Douchebag! Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. <laughs> he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All and three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? Outer Chaos, thank you for coming over. Were you a good stream? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8% of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. We need to level her up. How many subordinate functions is that going to take? All of the, the remaining three, I'm betting. Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity. Exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. 
I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. I mean... This is a... This is a real nature versus nurture situation right here. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying the to- The clone didn't have Ross to help in soul morals? Yeah. With opposite results. Extinction instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Can you track down Silence and make, like, hit, 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 shock him somehow? You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. <clears throat> so, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. 
Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Well, there's a dump of, uh, uh, exposition on us. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently... The weather on that was going that backwards. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Fun! And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. <laughs> I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. Jesus Christ! My substratal geography data... It's the worst thing in the world. ...that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located... Hey! We going gambling! Desert, huh? 
Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. We hop on a so charger and we head west, boys! To go after. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Um, I want Demeter because she sounds pretty cool. I, I guess, given the levels, I should probably go to the lower level one, you know? I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. Can you make me one of them shields that the Zenith guys have? I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Calculating your odds at 0.27%. Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevail in swift bridge. Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Secured a base of operations and rebooted Gaia. Achievement unlocked. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Not a bad plan. Okay. Take these then. What are they? One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Yeah, Maybe you're. By the time you get your back, world's a little different than what you were thinking of. I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. 
Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. Yeah. I clear I clear rebels off like it's no one's business, but it, it actually is, is my business. The Tanakh clanlands. The base. Fair bit of shit still going on, ain't there? Somewhere what? out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. What level am I? Actually, I have no idea how to tell. I have eight skill points. I'm level 17. Okay. Craft more resources. Yay. Deal more damage. Yay. Deep concentration. I concentrate pretty heavily, pretty deeply. I'm a deep sort of guy. So it seems like the healing, the the stealthing and the the shooting are the go-tos here. Melee attacks are quieter. And I might as well unlock this one because I'm going to need it soon. Ah, I see. That's why that one was all brrr, is because it's finished. I see. Still don't really have a good indicator of which one I've selected, although I think it's this one. I think it's the circle around the outside. It shows which Valor I have open. What is it that it does? Consume a special potion, restore health, and gain resistance to status effects. Okay, cool. Well, that wasn't nothing, was it? I thought we were just, good use of this. you know, finishing a cauldron. Then it turns out we were setting up a forward base of operations. An FBO, if you will. Let me take a look at you, stranger. Oh? Let me, let me save before you get all crazy. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Yep. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. Hey, I appreciate but that. you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan land. I, I, in I general, I plan on surviving. things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. Okay. I'd be grateful. Well then, I hear the rebels want you dead, Outlander. But I know someone who might be willing to teach you some of their fighting techniques. Technic ways. His name is Laroca. He trains the soldiers at Scalding Spear, just west of here. Don't think he'd mind seeing the champion in action. Maybe I'll pay him a visit if I'm out that way. She's so non-committal for everything. Maybe I'll look into it. Maybe I'll get to that. You shouldn't miss this chance Sounds to trade. Well. It's a chance to trade. Ancient metal eye. Frostbite warrior bow or shock bolt caster. What ones am I using? Do 
We have a shock tripcaster, frost black swing, strong arm, impact spike thrower. Wait, I have the prototype prototype spike thrower 2691. Or this guy, which is 65. Now. Oh, so this guy is I have a lot of explosion where this guy is just thwonk. But it's like triple the thwonk. This guy got boom. This guy got thwonk. Okay. Is there a uh, workbench here? Does not appear to be. Don't let the pretty landscapes fool you. It's deadly out here. Damn, guy, you got that thwonk. We were talking about you earlier, Dane. In fact, Jenna was talking about how she misses you. All right, we got ourselves a chonky boy. I feel like I could probably just charge ahead and just, you know, once guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus, skip all the rest. This is me watching my step. Look, Ma. Unknown shelter. Fire! I'm setting on fire. We have invented fire. Isn't there a way to let's see? Do you get to coils via inventory? Pouch upgrades. I want. I, I need the precarious. We need to get precarious around here. Maybe a rabbit or two, and then we needed horny lizards, horny lizards, rabbit, and a precarious. Improving silent strike. Silent strike gaze. Silent strike heal. I mean, other than losing the acid resistance, I basically gain everything. Oh wait, no, that's not that's not comparison to what I've currently got. That's uh the the difference after I upgrade. Got it. A Sunwing shield caster. Don't have one of them. Oh, that's nice. Okay, equip that, right? But then I'm like, yo, this is what I look like. Ooh. 
This is what I look like. So let's see. Two silent strike heal, one low profile, one silent strike gain, one silent strike heal. Resistance nine to ten, twenty-five to seventeen, but this guy's thirty-two and a little bit and and then apparently it's weak to acid is what that's saying. Hello, nurse. Um, okay, and then we need to go apparently into this giant circular thing. Who's looking for me? Who's looking for me? That was looking for me. So northwest. This giant circular thing seems like it might be the giant circular thing we were talking about. One more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. I mean, they're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. Hope you will be judged. Not. Cyber biology. Uh, I love and hate you. I heard your brother earned a mark from the pit net. Yeah, he won't stop about it. A word. Honor and you wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding March? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But the capital's already dealing with machines, storms, and strict water rations. Water. No one can be spared. Okay. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. Find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. That's bleeding mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. It's a good thing I have a focus because I wouldn't remember half the shit of talk to this person, talk to Bill, talk to Ted, talk about their excellent adventure, whatever it is. Outlander. The craft of the Tanakh awaits you here. Showing off is a waste of energy. Oh, come on, soldier! A stack of sand is tougher than here. I heard the water rush. Outlander. We always did it. Kingdom Christ. Honor and I finally earned it. Murdered from the hunting grounds. What's going on here? Close combat training. He said not being able fighting to see a damn thing. Is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Lee Rocky. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spring. Lee Rocky. Only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. I mean, you yeah, oh, I like, hold my own occasionally. But you only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. That's fine. Everything else stays with me. Right. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. 
And if you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? Hi, AC. Hi, Hypnia. The Enduring is a legendary. Dog, thank you for having bits. The what cell service does the nun use? Virgin Mobile. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pit masters. So, what will it be? Should you want This to game is really into the training grounds portion of it. Keep hitting an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy and resonator. When fully charged, the end of your spear will have a blue glow. I don't really see this a whole lot. Use any attack with retweet to energize your target. I've never I've never noticed that a ton. That spear of yours uses attacks to energize? Then heavy attacks or combination should energize it faster. Wrong way! Bad guys over here. That energy must do something. Hit your opponent. See if you can energize them. That dude is having a bad day. I've learned! Hit things a lot, and then you shoot it after you hit it. Rub, 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 retweet. <laughs> Wrong input? What are you talking about? What? What? What the fuck? Rub, 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 retweet. Single attacks are child's play. To win, you have to combine attacks. Uh-huh. This is a good combination to start with, so get practicing. Immediately break an enemy's weapon guard and leave them vulnerable. Rub, rub, retweet. So one's three rubs in a retweet, the other one's two rubs in a retweet. Excuse me. She felt that. I can only use very specific key combos. You missed. If you face a defensive opponent, then use this combination to break the weapon block. Then hurt them. Then hurt them. Then make them pay. Aero slash is a rub and a retreat. And then a rub and two retweets. Damage an enemy and leap in the air. Combine this with a heavy attack to slam your spear down. Oops, I missed. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. This is the aerial slash. Get in the air and slash down at your enemy. It's a good way to set up follow-up attacks. I've mastered it. I've pushed the buttons in the correct order. A jump off is a great way to get distance from opponents and to set up an aerial shot. They really like that one. I've mastered my jump offs. Your blade be right. 
Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Rub and retweet, right? Oops. Rub, retweet, and shoot. Or does it want me to jump? Maybe it wants me to jump. Okay. Rub, retweet. Yeah, it doesn't like the... the doesn't seem to like that one. Hmm. Jump off shot, rub, retweet. And it, like, it immediately fails in on the push and hold of retweet. want from me why what like literally the buttons on the screen are not the buttons you push without failing i can figure out how to tap and hold i'm 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 good enough for that shoot your i'm gonna okay i shot him with an arrow <laughs> wait there i got a little bit of a dingle dongle sorry about your valor Is it? Hit your opponent with a jump off shot. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. That was a little overly dumb, but you know, we're out here. Defeat other fires. Warrior wrath. Elite warriors are efficient, deadly, and precise. Land a basic combo, follow with power attack, do I have to fight them like this? Or can I just beat them? I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big fan of just beating them. Just as you can combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. Did I do the right thing? I don't know if I did the right thing. It seemed happy. Time limit, one, two minutes. Of what, 14 seconds to do what? He didn't fight back. Some challenge. <laughs> Wrong input. I'm not in tutorial, I'm in challenge. I missed. ER is busy. What's up, Lady Kate? Sir, stop hitting me. When I want you to hit me, I'll tell you how. Surely this is fine, right? <laughs> First try. Maybe not. God damn it. Here's something different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. You think I remember how to do aerial slash at this point? I thought we'd be fighting, not, you know, practicing. Wait. Ow! You delivered that well. This is a fighting pit. Honor and strength. Skilled. Very skilled. You have learned. We're finished here. What? I was? I felt fine. I felt good. I did start with like no health, so maybe this will give me proper health this time. 
You deliver. <laughs> <laughs> that was just mean. Hiding won't earn you a mark. <laughs> now that is an attack. Holy shit, he hits like a freight train. We're finished here. I'm Every on the wrong side. Uh, uh. So I've been thinking. I'm just, Just real quick. Uh, Ow. Now. Uh. Stop it! Every time you hit me, I run out of health. Skill. Very skill. Yeah. You delivered that well. Good combination. All right. I yield. That was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here. A mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks. Then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so. But I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more, the pit will all... Made it by that much. I'll be going. Let me know if you want to train in the pit again. Be sure to use range attacks. I mean, yeah. There's apparently a question mark over here. We've got to go. We've got to go question this mark. I want to find a tall neck. That'd be nice. I only stocked the fine. Come back and see. Was that the question mark I was questioning? Looks like that was the question mark I was questioning. I don't know, man. Tanox don't seem that bad. Downright friendly. Other than the beating on me part. Next time I will Ooh, a black box. Ooh, rebel outposts. Also, apparently, there's more question marks. Did I discover my unknown workbench? I want to go to my unknown workbench. Oh, it's up. Yeah, the rite of passage from uh, the Karja brother or cousin. So I use a, a hunter bow, right? I don't know much, but I know I love you. Oh, I see. This one doesn't give me the acid, but my basic arrows hit harder. That seems like a uh, a purchase worth purchasing.
Oh, there's quite a few different hunter bows as well. What other ones do I have? Oh, hey, look, there's fancy ones down here. Vanguard hunter bow. Well, that one seems more neater. But I need a Tide Ripper calculator. Circulator. Oh, wait, no, the bench was still up, wasn't it? I was like, I'm going to jump down to the bench. Wait, the bench isn't down. It was literally right next to me. Okay, so this guy we should be able to do some upgrades on. Now I need a wide maw. I hate that you can't do the weaves or the the weaves and the coils in that space. That one's done. They're dumb. Increases damage against knockdown, increases chance to land a crit, increases tear damage to armor resource about it. Yeah, that one. It's good to have an ally. Although that probably should go on the sharpshooter one mostly. The hunter one should probably be more. Oh, this is a uh, this is a solar. This is a solar uh, uh, farm. So wait, if I summon a mount, do I get my bristle backpack? I want my bristle backpack. I do. He's a big boy. Come on, chunk. Let's go. Good old chunk. Wait, we were going there. Yeah. This is a bit of a winding road. Chunk, work with me here. Come on, Chunk. Let's go. Chunk. Off you go, Chunk. I'm pressing the go button. Chunk. There we go. Fire! All right, do we have any... What the hell are you? Hey, it's a horny toad! I need those guys. I think I need something Voltrish. The hell are those? Oh, it must be Blight. Okay. I was like, this don't seem right. <coughs> I mean, we can relax. We have, we have a little bit. The world's not ending tonight. Besides, there's, uh, there's villages to clear. What are we doing with here? Frost won't help A Ravager! She was born for the cold. I've missed you! I mean, so to speak. I think they see me. Oop, they see me. Ow. One at a time, please. 
The sandwich situation is... Not gonna say that. Yes, sir. Directly in the power butt coil, sir. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Sweeping the ground with electrical attacks is just a little beyond the pale. Okay, I haven't missed Ravagers that much. That cello didn't need to go quite that hard. Hey, it's the precarious thing that I need. The auto pickup making me run smack into cacti. There's a there's a wooing. <laughs> Cello should always go that hard. World renowned cellist, but can only play canon in D for forevermore. All right, strategy. Let's do it all again, but this time the same, basically. I really hate the distance on how di how little distance these things can use. Oh. Where's your gun? Is that it? No, it's on the back. Hi. Peek-a-boob! Ow! Oh, it hurts when I peek! There are so many of them. Don't like that. Don't like that either. There's actually a reason why I'm picking these fights. Um, mostly, I feel like a lot of what I'm needing is practice with the, the, the gameplay and, you know, all that. So these are easy ways to... Get fucked. Um, get a little practice on some of this stuff and remind myself how to move around and and familiarize myself with the lay of the land. Hi. Ow. Okay. If you keep shooting me, I'm gonna die. Just keep that in mind. So figuring out iframes is a big part. What the hell did I just do? Oh. Well, go me. I did something strange. There's that. Okay. This is fine. Don't shoot that. I don't like it. Hey, I need you. 
I missed. No, I didn't. I got it! Hi. Medic, medic, medic. You're, I don't, I don't know. I, how you doing? Don't want that. Your gun continues to be a problem for me. Ah, so does your claw. I'm still in this fight. Don't like any of that. Okay. You win the okay. Yep. is not a good place for me to be. I'm not in a good situation. My situation is deteriorating. What we have here is what's called a negative. A, 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 a bit of a problem. Oh, I have no health. Okay, I had no health potions. I was like constantly looking for my health potions and I had none. I have not refilled my health potions. This is my problem. I've located my problem. It's right here. There are four of them though. And that is a bit excessive in that particular moment in that particular time, you know? Don't I have like 800 in my stash? What do you mean not enough room in my pouch? What? Oh, I ha these are these are taking room. The overdraws are taking... So I, only, I can only carry three potions, and those are taking some of the spots. This is an interesting development. Um, so the fight was going okay. Uh, until I ran out of heals, obviously. You know, with four of them... The problem is just that I can... My, my, my little baby bow don't hit hard enough to pop that top off. You know what I'm saying? But I probably fucked around with them enough that I can just move on. The we're trying to get to here. No, we're trying to get to here. Where wasn't there a place for me to, to murder? Where was the murder? Oh, there's a cauldron. Here's the murder. Okay. Uh, apparently I'm climbing over. Could just befriend them. Technically, I should be able to overcharge, override them, given that I could in the last game, but I don't know if I actually can. I don't know if I need to acquire better healing buffs or just more healing buffs. And also take less damage. Taking less damage is also an option. Okay. I'm not saying the sun's in my eye. I'm just saying I can't see anything because of the sun. Praise the sun. That's the rebel leader.
I don't even need anything interesting over here. It's an entire area of uninteresting. Another outpost full of rebels. Time to find whoever's in charge and take them out. I'm somewhat bemused that it has become less about, you know, clearing out the bad guys and more like, you're the sniper. Go in, find the general, shoot him. Now, I did see him just a second. Oh, it's this guy, right? I didn't hear that. Oh, what? You said something about halt. Wait, was he friendly? There's no more fire. I don't feel like he was friendly. Anytime you want to take off your shield. Or your mask. Oh, that was like a buff that he had. I had to wait it out. Bro. I wonder if this one's got some of those tags I keep finding. See, it doesn't seem like everybody else just bailed, but they certainly didn't all respond to the fact that, you know, their leader was getting shot, peppered full of arrows from up above. Be careful not to let this stain my hands. What? Hey! Terrible shot. It was trending low. There we go. Adjust a little up and to the left for it. She dead. Yeah, she dead. It's a hell of a shot. Okay, so the AI is still not flawless. Do you have an alarm? Ow! All right. They shot back. Son of a bitch, they've got arrows too! I hadn't planned for this. Anytime you want to jump onto the platform instead of bouncing around on the fucking... Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. I got, let me just, let me, let me just, I need to, everybody, I hate, everybody pause, okay? We gotta, we gotta put this guy back here for a second. All right. Uh, what were we doing? What were we doing? All right. I was shooting you there. And you there. They're lining up a shot, guys. I can't see you out there, but I believe. I can't shoot without ammo. <laughs> I can't shoot without ammo. I feel like at some point when they were recording lines, the Aloy's voice actor should have been like, really? I can't shoot without an arrow? Buffy. I get you. No, you're cute. You're adorable. I need to be careful. You're 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 so cute and precious. It just oh, you make me sick. 
So freaking adorable. And needy. I'm definitely needy right now. You feeling needy? So what the fuck is the... Fully draw before releasing... To, to... Apparently this ladder in particular needs to be fully drawn. Okay. Mmm, arrows? Don't like it. Oh. That's why I'm using cover, whereas you are not. Aiming. Uh. Get back. I, too, aim. Strike back. Uh. Never mind. Oh, yes, yeah, directly in the rock. Win. Some of them are good. Some are aiming. Stocking up for the hunt. But you don't understand. Can't fire without any ammo. All right, where was the, the dude? Was on a? Was he on? Was it this platform that he stood there and watched me shoot him? Yeah. He was an excellent leader. He is one of the best. More of these mystery tags. I should keep them safe for now. Kill the rebels. Optional. Abandon this place. I feel like but I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. What, what, what rebels? I will kill the rebels. I just need to know what ones I need to kill. Is that a rebel? Could try using acid ammo. Okay, it's a rebel ravager. I didn't know that was a thing. But now we know. Here's acid in your eye. Aha, I've invented wood. Your energy <laughs> Your energy beam weapons are no match against my fence. And your mechanical computations and knowledge of your weapons and systems is no match against my arrow aim. You stole up. These guys really do take a lot of damage. Look at all the arrows that are in his thing right there. I need my tear blast arrows. That's what I'm missing right now. Oh, now he's like, you know what I should do is I should try and see if I can get to her rather than just shooting in effect. Oh, God! They're learning! My arrows don't do a whole lot.
the hell was that? Like you fainted. Finally. Bullets on you now. These rebels won't be bothering anyone else. The hunter has become the hunted. I mean, it, let's be honest. Like, um, the uh, I like that now that I'm damaged, I've got to hold that delightful midriff. Um. The arrow. The, this is this is a much more realistic uh, expression of shooting arrows at a big old biomechanical machine. You know, I mean, we don't want to we don't want to admit that, but let's look let's look at reality here. You know, putting a bunch of arrows slightly indenting some uh, armor. It's gonna take a lot of arrows to get through that. What difficulty is he playing on? I'm playing on difficult difficulty. I hope. What the hell are you? What the? Oh my god, for the fucking chain. Should probably work on the Eclipse. Get that all patched up. Apparently there's also a Karja Huntress. Oh wait, that was uh, that was my buddy old pal, right? The, uh, the lady from the hunting lodge. It's the easiest difficulty, yes. No, wait, no. You remember struggling with normal? I mean, you know, we all doing our best. Kind of looks like a. It is a boat. I was like, that looks like a boat, cause it is. You can tell the way it is by the way it do. Again, this is all supposed to be a thousand years old. So the hardest thing for me to really like buy into is that a thousand years later, um, the, the we still have these processing centers and data centers and, and doors that are working and and all of that you know like but also the other like difficult suspension of disbelief for me is just simply that uh um so many of these places it's like no one could get into here because of the door and then you go into it and and there's an opening in the roof you know, like a cave-in is loud light in. And you're like, well, the people probably at some point in a thousand years were like, eh, when was down here? Mary, get the rope! You know, but... But... Narrative mechanism is going to be narrative mechanisms, you know? I should probably get air. She'd probably continue to breathe. <laughs> that was a big ass skeleton on the map. That's a Horus. 
They were they were the uh, Pharaoh bought um, command and con mobile command and control basically for the invading Pharaoh bots. And they were not insignificant. That's what all of that is. Does tend to be a thing with aging in games. Yeah, I mean, it just... It just it is what it is, you know. But... In general... I'm like 50-50 on... Uh, ignoring that sort of stuff. Like, I try, and a lot of the times, if I'm having fun, then it, it doesn't ruin it for me, but it does stand out to me. You know what I mean? Like, I can, I can still have fun, and I can enjoy it, and I can appreciate the story. And I even recognize that, okay, they had to for the, you know, for the narrative and for all that. But it's just like, wow. Thousand years later, and there's still a processor capable of holding the super, you know, amazing AI, you know. Really? You're just fighting one of those? Tanak? Takan? Tanak? Taketh? Tanaka? Talana! You see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening. Hey, she's not wearing her chin strap anymore. Care to join the hunt? Now the fun starts. Man, I need, I need, I need part ripping power. I got you covered. Take this ammo. Okay, that was shocking. I thought I killed that, but I guess not. Coming at me! Excuse me. I got it. I got it. I got a moment to gotta capitalize on. I, I, excuse me. I'm trying to capitalize on a moment. Thank you. Bring it. We'll see who's the better hunter. Yes, sir. Directly into everything, sir. I was busy. Do you want to play blow up the green canister? I don't think you do. I hope not, because it's fucking... It's a hard shot. I'm going to be honest. You've got knocked down by a bird? Ow, okay. Hey! Also, you were supposed to explode in like a catastrophe of ex explosion. Why are you still alive? And hurting me. What the hell? Fire! 
All the usual tricks don't work or else my bow just is terrible again. I can't see through the tree. Sir? Danger close, I believe is the phrase. Okay, all right, okay, listen here. You're cute and all. But it's time to pl stop playing. I see done. Likewise. Come over here. Come, come to me. Never let your guard down. If you ever see a guard up in the trees, don't let them down. They sit up there and think about what they've done. Make them wonder what sort of decisions led them to where they are today. I like that I pressed the search button and instead I've mantled over the freaking tank. Give me the berries! Give me the berries! Oh, that's just now. That's just that's just bad manners. Okay. Hello. Sunhawk Talana Kane Padish, Aloy, despite the Nora. You're the Slayer of Renma, the Savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking yeah, for Tiger, I think the 40 months. A Karja hunter. Yoshi, you think the 100 bits? Age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back and... Now he's missing. I gotta let Buffy out. These two can stare at each other. There's some serious, they want to eye fuck each other energy there. And I'm here for it. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? 
Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life in Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being ah. so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I think it's more to attract suitors, Dane. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. Feel like we were just at a battlefield. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis that's was a, part that's of a the lot of bees. army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but... They underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. Presumably. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised this is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. What are you looking to know? G-G-O-H-J. Gigo? I guess I need to look at them. Examine the heavy footprints. Hmm, these footprints look like they were heavy. heavy footprints. Maybe Osram. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. This is on a 3090. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadas was supposed to be alone. Why were Osram here? Hmm. Light prints. Not Osirum. Maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Life is peaceful there. In the open air. An Utaru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. 
Hello. Let me guess. You're straggling. Got left behind when the wagons rolled out. Do not worry. I am not the card you're hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone, clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karza graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. <laughs> if we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. Look at look at me thinking it through. What should we do? Well, I mean, they just said everything went west, so maybe we should head west. I guess as long as I have her here, I should probably... Uh... Yeah. That's south. But they, they seem confused on what direction west is. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. Southwest? I mean, south by southwest. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. That hasn't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush. Just like old times. This guy seems like he'd probably be hard to kill. Strong versus frost, weak versus acid and fire. I've got your back, hey, boy. Really? Environmental traps in this game are so <laughs> underwhelming sometimes. Okay. Apparently it can bomb out of its sides. Jesus Christ. Are we trying fire? Fire! Oh, hey. Good. Good. Don't like that. What I really need, though, is a more dramatic music. <laughs> Sir, you would stop chasing me underground. <laughs> oh, <God. sighs> oh. 
Okay, his little shoot out the side shit is not cool. Right now, I just feel like my weapons just don't do any damage. That's that's my that's, that's my issue. Is just like the weapons don't. Okay, you're just gonna start me here with the guy gone. Okay, easy enough. We beat him, guy. Oh wait, no, there he is. Could set that machine on fire. So there's a chill water sack down below. Sparkers. And I'm apparently stuck. It can't move. Good. Got my trip caster up. He doesn't care about electrical anyway, though, so it doesn't matter. that it's going underground ruins the whole elemental buildup you're going for. Okay, that was a little faster than it should have been. Suddenly he moves at 800 miles an hour. Explosions needed. Maybe this thing is a whole trick. Okay. Also not getting caught in geometry. Also a trick. He has a beam. He has a laser beam. His laser beam causes a, a giant AOE explosion that you can't avoid. We're just learning all sorts of things right now. beams. Oh, these are my last four.
I say, feels good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. I needed a shell snapper circulator now that I think about it. <sighs> Easy first try. So basically, for anything big, nothing I have works except for explodey, uh, explodey spears. Talana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? Well, it's a person. That, was wrong. that one's strong against uh, frost, though, so freezing it would be an absolute bitch. What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh, but there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I have a kind of base in the mountains north of here. There's a passage through it that will get us to the other side. Us? You know, Hawk and Thrush. We'll find your friend together. Head to the western outskirts of Plainsong. There's a path in the foothills there that leads up to the base. I'll make sure someone greets you there and shows you the way through. Then I'll meet you at the camp on the other side as soon as I can. Thank you, Aloy. I knew running into you would bring good luck. Here, take this. She looks a lot better without the chin strap. Hunt. I'll see you at the camp. So, I ran into an old friend who needs to cross over to the west. Can you meet her in the foothills near Plainsong and ship? This store needs some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. Bunch of Osram supplies. And a dead end. One of the reasons I'm just dumping so many points into Hunter is it's like I just need to hit. I need I need everything to hit harder. So is this like indicating that it's blocked? Kind of indicated like it was like I, I can't do anything now. That's usually Aloy's universal of I, I can't do anything now. Now, my one frustration, as it were, is that I swear I have a bajillion potions in my stash, but I can't uh, do I, I can literally only refill them while I'm uh, there, I guess. Kind of getting the land of the lay, you know? All right, we were heading that way. FNT, thank you for coming over. Hope you had a good stream. How many rocks? I have 163 rocks. I feel like we need to pick up more rocks.
Yeah, you move that rock. That's not what I'm trying to get. I literally wasn't telling it to turn. He was just decided that rock in particular needed to go around and around. Latopolis? The fuck? The hell are you? Apex Wide Maw. I think my my I, I feel like my uh Razorback's about to get seriously foobard. I don't even know what to think of these these guys. Oh, he sucks! Oh god, he sucks so bad. Hang on, I should double check. Strong versus okay, so he's weak against cold. It's a good thing I didn't hit him with anything. Otherwise, no more ammo. Oh, interesting. I don't think that was cold that I was seeing. I don't know what I was seeing, but it wasn't cold. I don't have enough of these to deal with this bullshit. I should probably know where the other one is, but I don't. It did just... It, did it just send a tornado at me? Oh my god, there's like 18 more of them. What the fuck do I, what are you what are you doing here? Ain't nobody asked for you. Okay, shit's getting weird. It, it just pooped. Whatever the hell it just pooped. Okay. No one's asking for the chicken, though. What is with the tornado? Gotta be something they're doing, right? Oh, he sucks. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There. Hey. This is fight. A little, a little bit of shelter to storm. You know. Bad chicken. 
Oh, still bad chicken. What the fuck was that? Oh, there's three of them now. Good. Fire. Rocks. Lots of rocks. More rocks than I care for. Yeah. The hell was that? What did it just spit out? <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm stuck on what, I, what can only be described as grass. with the chicken. Whoa! What? Okay, that one's new. Avoidable now that I know about it. Time to go! Okay, not quite. Time to go enough. Still don't know what the hell happened with the one that finished and climaxed everywhere. Oh now there's four of them. The pace of which these things propagate is disconcerting. What? Suck my dick! Ugh. Where do I hit you? Eight hundred resources later, sir. You're not. You're not actually helping, really. Hey, God. What's 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 what, 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 what these uh, overdraw? Okay, now what does this do? Do I do I draw better? Am I becoming an artist? You know, like their tongue being tapped. Oi! That one, that one seems really unhappy that I shot it in the tongue.
Okay, but... No! Yeah! One just finished again. What is that? Are you the low one? You're not the low one. That's the low one. Stop it. I command you to stop or else I stop again. Two damage. 21 damage. Ooh, 27, 31. Getting some big numbers now. Yes, yeah, sir, directly to the butt talk, sir. <sighs> Is that one damaged? It kind of looks damaged. I see flames coming off of it. I don't know if that's just its normal m mode of operation. <laughs> Sir, you are... Whoa! Okay. New one there. Look, man, I'm just trying to live in this world. It's your world. I'm just living in it, you know? Sorry. Oh, he sees me. Wait. Hup, hup. There, I feel better, I think. Got him in the tongue. They don't like it when you get him in the tongue. Oh, it's down. I was like, what is it doing? But now I understand that I was, what it was doing, it was giving me an opportunity that I then squandered. Well, that was 
proof positive that my freaking weapons are too damn weak. Mine's turning a lot of dust. I bet it stings. You're worried about whether she's showing armpit hair? That's a little weird. Okay. So this is a caravan, but there's no transport in it. Good old Apex versions. Uh, they've got the stronger versions of stuff, but I don't have the stronger versions of stuff. I can climb this ridge. There's stuff at the top for me. Where's this, where's this fire you speak of? You speak of a fire, but I don't see the spires up top. There's a fire up here. Can I climb? I climb. I'll save this for a dire. Okay. What? I have found an Utaru bird's nest or Tanox bird's nest. I, I found a bird's nest of some sort of unknown origin. Kind of feels like if I head more that -er way, I might cut some time off the travel, but it might also be that the landscape don't allow for such shenanigans. So my hope is that with the uh drinking one of those overdrafts that I should now be able to have two health pots. Yeah. So I can only have three potions right now at a time. And I had picked up two overdrafts, which was taking this two of the slots. Um so that was preventing my also did the music just go EDM on me or what's going on? Gave his henchmen in the daunt. Time to see what the Eclipse are up to. You're my prisoner. This is our chance! Those machines look like they've been overridden. I better be careful. I better be careful, she says, as I run straight in and just... ...into those ruins and find out what they're up to. You just outie? Oh, I freed a captive. Pain subsiding. Ow. You shot me.
the fuck was it, it, like it did it, it slid attacked Stop that Every more ammo. The outline to return. Technically, I never left, but I've got a, you know, my hands full in a way. Apparently, the machines are waterproof. Frickin' laser beams! Also, what the hell happened to you? Attack! Ow, 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 ow. Who the fuck is it? You! You twat! I'm more of a single person. Whee! I hate that attack. There is just, uh, it is painful not having weapons that do the damage I need them to do. So they are chasing me to the ends of the fucking earth. Oh, relief. Stop there. Take her out. This is a tree. There are many like it, but that one is mine. No one knows what I am, right? <sighs> Yikes! Not for the life of me. Get anything to die. We got you now. Let's get her found. You better have my back. I've got your back in my other pocket. Grab this on the go. Cool. All of its parts are off and, and it's half damage.
Arrow to the face. Usually effective. That asshole. Nice. I'm good at things. What the hell was that shot? This is fine. Everything's fine. Just tank it. Just tank it. Eleven damage. Wonderful. I shot that arrow, but then it was like, you know what you didn't do? Shoot this arrow. And I was like, didn't I though? There's no ammo for this. Douchebag. Don't fuck with me. Go do it. Turn around. You don't want this. You don't, would you, sir. I try to tell you turn around, but you bunch of cowboys. I see me. That's all. Oh, okay. Ooh, loot. Yipe! Ah! Uh. Nice shot, me. Good. It's a good thing you grabbed onto that, Aloy. You know how to do what we got to do. Okay, so apparently there's my pouch, there's my stash, and then there's my, like, immediately available. There's so many different levels of inventory. Anyway, so I started blasted, but really I hadn't intended on just alerting literally everyone to my presence. I just, but just coming in and being like, you know, let's look around, let's get a feel for the place. Let's, you know, do some sneaky stabs and, you know, really treat it all well. And then, well. I'm sure there were more overridden machines around. I need to deal with those. Things got a little out of uh, out of hand. I'll have these for these soon enough. Good night, Elignor. Who the fuck's Yef? Pretty sure they don't think I'm getting in through here. My name is Yef. All the eclipse guards around. Huh. 
What's up, Yev? You good? Come on, Skyrim. Yeah, buddy. What you got? What you got? What you cooking here? You know, I killed all the other woods. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Pretty sure there were more overridden machines around. I need to deal with those. Huh. Yef is confused, and so am I. Man, my focus kid. See that guy? That's weird. That, that don't that don't seem right. Okay, then whoop. Okay. Keep that in mind. Eclipse Pretty cultist. Sure there are more overridden machines around. I need to deal with those. Men of shadow. The blood and sweat of our slaves see this ancient battleground. And soon we will reap our destiny. They have a losing light. It'll be dark out soon. Pretty sure there were more overwhelming around. We can start the foundation of our empire. You. We, privileged few, uh. will rule over thousands. I want weapons that actually hurt something. It doesn't seem like a huge ask. I'm not. Ah! <laughs> 
are you still up? That's kind of freaky, dude. Arrows that don't do damage. Secret arrows, secret arrows don't do damage. Secret, secret, secret arrows. Why is this guy still babbling at me? Soon, we will our destiny. I'm out. Got a quarter ton of metal on top of me. And maybe three ribs left. FAE hasn't blown. Which means the engineers are dead. Gotta cut myself out of here. And it's gonna hurt. But you know what they say. If you want something done right. Yee. Loons in their monologues, man. We construct the foundation of our empire. I'm sure there are more overridden machines around. We, privileged few, things. will rule over thousands. Kill the Eclipse. Literally just... Just... Deal with them. We're tired of their existence. Apparently I've got to kill the Eclipse back there. No longer are we burdened by the harsh masses. We are free. Oh my god, bro. How in the world would you ever get cultists to follow you if you were that obnoxious? Like, it just wouldn't happen. They'd be like, well, I mean, I thought about following him, and then it turned out he was obnoxious as fuck. I need to deal with those. So I need to get overridden machines within this rage. Anybody seen any more overridden machines? I think I kind of scattered everything when I was, you know, flailing around for my life earlier. Pretty sure there were more overridden machines around. I need to deal with those. This is what you've said. It'd take a lot of acid to bring it down. Aha! Cool. Oh, it's on the other side of that hill.
That scrapper didn't list as a rebel scrapper, though, so that makes me wonder if I'm looking at the right thing. We definitely fought it. Pretty sure there were more overridden machines around. I need to deal with those. Sir? You have evaded the geometry? That's the first bug we've encountered in the game. Now the question is, can we... somehow... get through anyway? I don't even know if that's the one that I need to, uh... find. But I don't know where anything else is. We still have Yef up there. Maybe Yef wouldn't talk to me because, you know, we haven't progressed this mission. It does feel like that scrapper is the only thing that would be it. So I think if we save and reload, that should replace positions and stuff. Which is a little silly, but... Not seeing a lot of other options here at the moment. Okay, so fire down to the right. If it respawns everything, oh well. It did see me momentarily. Come here, buddy. Aloy, must you mantle everything? Save my plasma ammo. Use something else. I swear the only thing that Aloy doesn't hop onto is Erend. Scraper found the secret tunnel. All right, so we go somewhere very different. Anything far away that I should be visiting anyway? So this is all that stuff that I solved, but let's up a little past this. Berries. These berries are everywhere except for where I need them to be. Adding the apexes into this when I already don't hit hard enough is just mean spirited. It's about to get loud. That detection range, though. Right, 
here's the fire over here. We wait. Seriously, we're waiting. And now that's bug two. Oh, bother. Maybe, okay. I was <laughs> like, maybe if I just, just keep running. Yeah, I, I understand. The point, Dark Chester. I just, you know. I get that it's the prefix one that's stronger. Okay, so... Let's try zipping back. And see if that was enough to do. Here's hoping, cause what 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 other options do we have if if it don't do, you know? Then I have to get crazy. If I ha if I if if I add mods to this, the first thing I'm gonna do is have it you know get rid of the uh, sc a mod that gets rid of the screen that's. Stops on it and just press A to continue. Take care of any eclipse guards still around. Can you craft better weapons? Not that I've seen. I was able to kind of buy one, but then we lost our acid. But it looks like I have acid from two right now. So maybe I should keep that in mind and just equip the better one here. But all in all... Okay, so you're out. Is it a full respawn or is it just that one guy? Shock ammo could help. Okay, so there's a guy right there. So full respawn. I need to take care of any eclipse guards still around. We can we can do it a little bit more reasonably this time. Last time I was a little bit excessive in the approach. Where'd the scrapper go? There it is. And there was a there was a lot of there was a lot of mobility last time. I wonder if there's another cauldron with override data on that one. <laughs> I kind of like the ow. <laughs> ow! Son of a bitch! Guards still around. But where's the big guy with a gun that I don't like? I also wouldn't mind, you know getting a attack from above thing again. You see nothing. I'm literally behind cover. There 
There you are, you little something or other. You little so and so. You such and such. Take care of any Eclipse guards still around. This is a much different way of approaching this. Okay, so he passes back, and we we say howdy, hey. I need to take care when of he do so. Still around. Stop repeating what I need to do. <laughs> that wireframe looks like an idiot. You look like an idiot. Well, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Alright. I see you. She's giving me the, sh the, the slips. Stupid Punisher, bringing your stupid punishment. Hmm. Okay, so we got that guy right there. We know there's at least one more Eclipse, but I think this is the last Scrapper, hopefully. Peekaboo! There are two of them. Oh, the, I want her found. Like, the other guy's like, no shit, Mike. Like, come on. That's what I'm doing. No more shots left. Well. The other guy had a lot more ammo. That's all of them. Now, I need to get into these ruins. Yay, we progressed! Stop whatever this Vezra's doing. Slightly more contained. Hmm. 
Blast paste. Blast this. I can help you get in. Okay. Let's talk. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse bastards. Good riddance. So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. Okay. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse. Goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. Okay. The leader's oh. always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. Huh? That sounds bad. You should probably head back. And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Luck be a lady tonight. Siege, thank you for the 45 months. Gold, thank you for the 50. I appreciate you both very, very much. As very much. Did he say this is the side with the scaffolding you can take? Because it doesn't look like you can take it. I did better on the other side. Oh, now we got it. Now we, now we've, now we've got it. We got a hand. We got our, our hand in it. Okay, now to fight all this again. For the first time, for the last time. Ow, fuck my leg! Okay. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. Bad guys? Did it save that I finished off the bad guys in here? Men of shadow. Oh, not this asshole again. The blood and sweat of our slaves seek this ancient battleground. And soon, we will reap our destiny. Oh my goodness. No one's interested in his monologuing. Like I said, even the cultists have got to be sick of him. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. Must be tracks. I was sure I saw something. He's sure of it, guys. Upon this fortress, we construct the foundation of our empire. We privileged. Oh, I had to come long. <laughs> Why? 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 The old ones feel hard here. Looks like this place was under siege.
Let me in, let me in. All forward positions overrun. Can't raise USRC. Bottom line, we're dog meat. Any goddamn oh, suggestions? Goodness. Still got an FAE. When the bots pour here. in, we detonate. Blow up a whole lot of tin cans. Take them with us. Spiteful. I like it. Make it happen. See you in the sky, soldier. If this is the bomb Vezra found, I really need to stop him. Oh, yeah, because he was like, he's got this big old bomb, and the Vasquez inside had the, the thing on her, and she was like, the FAE didn't go off, which means the engineers are dead. Uh, so with the FAE not going off, that means that the bomb, if that's, you know, FAE big bomb is my interpretation there, then that all comes back to, that's what vil the villain name is doing. I wonder if the, uh... It'd be pretty cool if the weather actually becomes a factor and it's something you have to deal with and avoid and stuff. If there's storms you need to, like, I think it'd be neat. All up until it's somewhere where you want to go and then you're like, God damn it, I hate these storms. Otaru prisoners. I gotta let them out. Quick. I mean, I don't have to be that quick. Who is she? Help us! No Calm shit! Down. Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? I keep doing what I do. Why don't you leave? Alone? That's certain death. Sure. For the bad guys. All of you. Find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vezra. Aloy is definitely a lot more cocky in this one. Remember, only I can give you this gift. Only I can It does seem that the, the uh... I am no longer um... Man. I wield the very power oh my god, shut up, dude. It does seem like the, uh... Time's up! Warbots are right outside. Inputting detonation sequence. Alpha, Charlie, Echo. Shit. Safety switches won't disengage. No time to do it manually. It's over. I failed. God, if you're listening, look out for my little girl. Her little girl made it. Because no one made it. The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure an arrow to the head? First. The savior of Marie. How kind of you to deliver Shut you. up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. They know I'm here. They know I'm here. Well, yeah, I did yell out Our to them. Our isn't going to make things easy. I gotta take it out. Fast. So, turns out, goes through that. Oh, the Ravager uh, gun, though, isn't on it because he took the Ravager gun. So, that's helpful. Ah! 
What? Okay. Hang on. Before you attack me, know that I'm healing. Okay, good. That was vigorous. Guy. Is that Vezra? Vezra, you're going down next. Let his little armor buff wear off. It was very convenient of him to take the Ravager weapon off the Ravager because. It, he, him holding it and using it was much less effective. You win this time. What? You. I'm not alone. Uh. Engage your target. They're goddamn masks. Shut of that. Is he like being on fire? Let me tell you a story about firing from an exposed position versus a, 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 a position of cover. It works out a lot better for the person in undercover. Light on fire, damn it. This guy is the least combustible guy I've ever met. It's time to end this little game. How is I should shoot him again before I say something, what before he presses anything. To watch you die. You'd have to try a lot harder for that. Not with this. Just we'll kick both it. Be gone in an instant. Oh shit! <laughs> My loot! Burn, Phil. That was a very underwhelming explosion, if I'm being honest. Fine. I 
hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others, I, I told them to hide. Are, are they? Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plain Song. Thanks, Yef. Listen, sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades, said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? No. I don't know. But I intend to find out. It looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around. Find out if there's Loyal anything Eclipse. we need to worry about. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. Gloam. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. Gloam. I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. <laughs> Wonder if my focus can show me anything. Five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, they will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vezra. He dreamed big. <laughs> Bro. I that's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. Bro. I mean, as far as villains go, a uh, dude... He's pretty on the uh pretty on the weak side, you know. He didn't really bring the uh the fear, you know. What's up, Leo? What did you find? Bezra's comrades are dead. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Happy hunting. Thank you. It's been a fun game. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you. I could use a back massage. Favor. You can find us in Plain Song. I hope you make it there. Yeah, I've been there. Your chorus was dis dis disharmonant. Saved the Daunt. Uh, achievement resolved all the problems affecting the Daunt. We proceeded undaunted at the task ahead of us. Let's gather up a little bit of medicinal berries here. That's very important. What's up, the killer? Thank you for coming over. Hope you had a good stream. All right. Well, that resolves the Eclipse Garbo, I believe. Um, so... That puts us back on to going after Aether. But it's very late. He's very late. So we go to fire. We go to sleep. We go in the night. Everything good. Nothing bad. Next 
satisfied. way up this weird spot for the fire camp. Vezra had big dreams. He just, you know, couldn't really see any of them through. Which is slightly embarrassing, but, you know, it happens. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you had yourselves a good time. Um, and tomorrow we should have... Uh, some more things coming, but, uh, in the meantime, thank you for being here. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that like button, uh, and subscribe and all those fun things. And, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one tomorrow. So good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Carry the world upon your shoulders